Why is a microphone like a coffee mug? Uh, well, um, this is just my take on the question uh, because sometimes that question can leave you with more questions than answers. Um, usually it'll be answered one of two ways. The utilitarian response, which is to say, the 57, you should be able to record a whole record with just the 57. Fair enough. Uh, then there's the situational response. Well, for the snares, I would use a 441. For the overheads and the electric guitar, let's use the Mojave MA300. For vocals and acoustic guitar, let's use the U87. Fair enough. That's but, you know, are there uh, applications that uh, are specific to the 57 that you would not use the U87 and vice versa? Um, yeah, generally speaking, yeah. But perhaps it helps to have their equivalent glass, mug, whatever you want to call it, uh, here to sort of explain a little bit further. All right, why is 57 like a tumbler? Tumblers are robust, durable, uh, inexpensive, and uh, that is to say that you can put any liquid in this, anything. You could put water, soda, juice, coffee, tea, soup, anything. Anything that you can think of, you can put in here. Um, is it best practice to put uh, coffee in here? Well, if it's all that you have, yeah, probably. Might taste a little bit plasticky. Uh, you might have to mask it a little bit by putting uh, some cream in there and some sugar to make it taste a little bit better. Um, but essentially, yeah, you can put anything in this mug. And if it breaks or if you lose it, whether it's traveling with it or whatever, you can replace it. That's no problem. Moving on. 441. Why is it more like this Yeti? Well, this Yeti, you can put hot liquids in it and it's not going to taste plasticky. You can put soup. You can go camping with it. It just has more practical applications. Um, these guys are very similar in construction, very uh, similar in volume. Um, but yeah, there are um, applications for this microphone and this glass mug, whatever you want to call it, that probably don't apply to this guy here. Again, if this is all you have, fine. Likewise, if this is all you have, fine. Moving on. Here we have what most people would say is a coffee mug. Um, generally speaking, when people see a mug like this, they want coffee in it, or they want tea in it, or they want hot cocoa in it. They don't want soda in this. You don't want your ice water in here. Um, also, this and this mug, these mugs, have properties that these don't have, and that is, let's say you put coffee in here, tea, uh, uh, soup, hot cocoa. Um, if you hold this in your hand, it's going to feel warm. And I know that's kind of perhaps a silly example, but it does make a difference. If you're on a snowy porch with your pup and you're enjoying the quiet snowfall, you're probably gonna want this mug. Uh, it has sentimental value. It's a bit more unique than this fella here. And in that sense, um, it's more, I guess, more dear. Um, you break this and it's gonna be difficult to replace. And moving on. This is perhaps, and again, for the sake of this discussion, um, perhaps a bit more unique, handmade than uh, the, the 300. It just has a different feeling. Uh, again, both of these are very, very, very similar. And essentially they can do everything that the other can, um, slight differences. Likewise, um, you can put soda in here. Do you want to? Do you really want to drink soda out of this? Yeah, you might. It might be kind of fun. Uh, Likewise, you could put juice in here and it might be fine. Or you may want to put hand pressed, you know, juice that you've grown from the berries in your garden and the apples from your tree. That's probably more acceptable in, in some ways than, you know, putting, um, forgive me, Mott's apple juice or, you know, Minute Maid in here. Again, why does it taste different to have your homemade home pressed apples in here as opposed to this? It, it just kind of does. And that's, you know, that's perhaps the one thing that you cannot explain is that, yeah, why does hot cocoa taste different in here than it does in here? I, you know, it's just a, a feeling thing, the warm mug. And that's pretty much it. I mean, again, it's, it's a question that really doesn't have a wrong answer. Um, however, some solutions and some answers, frankly, are more practical and better than others. And some of them just, they feel different and you can't necessarily explain why you can just feel them. There's something about having this warm mug in your hands, drinking hot cocoa out of it, uh, that is different and more significant than, than this one here. 
So hopefully that was a fun way of explaining um, how I think about um, choosing the right microphone. Uh, and uh, that's, gosh, that about does it.